Let's roll. So, how do you feel? I feel fine, I think. I think I just feel a little nervous. I've never done anything like this before. I guess it's just crazy to see that this is it. Everything starts now. Yeah, I get what you mean. Don't stress, just stay focused. Try to keep your cool. If there's one thing that any of those people out there are gonna take away with them, it's your charm, your precious charm. Aw, thanks August. Here you are, Augie. I've been looking for you. Aries, what do you need? Assistance. Claude doesn't know how to work the microphone. It's a good thing music isn't his specialty. His brain isn't his specialty either. You're gonna do great. I know it. <sighs> good afternoon, pupil of West Symphony. As you all know, my name is Cecilia Parks, and I'm the head of the activist and social work organization, The Harmonizers. I, along with my twin brother Claude, along with our friends Augustus and Aries Wells, have one sole mission, to unite every single soul that walks on the face of harmony. Join us. There will be no more need for fighting, antagonizing, or anything in between. We Arties and Sides, as a people of harmony, should be able to live in harmony, together. We have prepared a short presentation that goes in detail on our expectations from this newly formed organization. I would like to start with... Well, this is peculiar. Look at what you got here. A couple of kids who think the grown-ups don't know what they are doing. Are you guys lost or mental? Um, may I ask who you are and why do you feel the need to disrupt our presentation? The name's Myers. Wallace Myers. Some people call me Wally, others Mr. Myers, Walls, Wall, and so on. I'm an astronomy-based society with the ability to analyze the sky like no other. Hey, buddy, that's great, honestly. Can you leave now? I don't have to leave. This is a public space in which I have the right to do whatever I want. Like this. Don't believe these kids are their foolish campaign. We all know arties and psyches are at their best. When separate, I can't even believe I had to travel all the way from Edwinopolis after seeing an advert for this online. I did all of that just to stop some dumb kids from feeding you what they call unity. That's what we call propaganda, am I right? Go, come on and tell me. All right, buddy. I'm going to give you three seconds to get out of here before- August, wait! <gasps> and would you look at that? The kids preaching non-violence just tried to harm me! No, that's not- Oh, hush. Everybody here knows that Artie's and Sighties aren't meant to live together. Artie should go back to being in their little bungalows, while Sighties should stay as far away from Artie's as possible in order to protect their brain and their dignity. Go home, people! The show is over! Soon, by Celestial's grace, we will form our own societies, and this nonsense will be behind us all. Wait, no! What was that for? Oh, sweet Cecilia, don't think of it as sabotage. I'm just doing you a favor, that's all. If you were so determined to unite Artis and Cites, I'm surprised it never occurred to you that you can't make people do what they don't want to. I think you should be thanking me. Thanking you? <laughs> oh, and one more thing. Whatever this was supposed to be, don't do it again. Next time I won't be so willing to help. Hey, Cece, what's going on in that mind of yours? I don't know, August. I hate that this Wallace guy came and just messed with the plans we had. I couldn't even intervene or refute any of what he was saying. If I don't even have the willpower to defend myself, how do I defend what I believe in? I hate to say it, 
But in order for you, or really any of us, to succeed at this mission, we all have to develop a thick skin so we don't fall victim to his attacks. I believe in what you're doing, and I believe in you. But if we want to be able to get others to believe in us, you can't let someone take that platform away from you. I know you're finding your footing, and you're trying to adjust to being more out there than usual. You're really special, CC. Nobody should suppress or take that away from you. You really think so? I know so. You're going to do great things. I'm sure of it. But what if Wallace comes back? When we campaign tomorrow? I don't know what to say or do, how to- It's okay, CC. You know I got you. <laughs> you remember when we were little and you lost your favorite stuffed animal? That Pumblebee plushie? Aw, Mr. Buzzy Waltz? Yeah, him. <laughs> I remember being so upset I lost him, but I wanted to find him so badly because I always thought we were connected. And when you told me you lost him, I changed your mask so that he would gravitate towards you. Yeah, well, my mom wasn't pleased at all. But you were. It wasn't until then that you found him. Oh my gosh, you're right. You really have always been there for me, haven't you? Always have, and always will. So what makes this time any different? You know what? You're right. With your help, I can take down Wallace verbally by making points against his claims instead of physically. And I'll teach you everything you need to know. We can train, practice, and prep as much as you need it. Then tomorrow, we'll- See Wallace and turn his words against him. Ooh, I'm pumped. Let's do this. times as many people as there was yesterday. Should we do some quick prep? Yeah, let's run through this one more time. All right, when Wallace Myers shows up again, what are you going to do? I'm gonna stand my ground, keep my cool, and continue my business as usual. And when he taunts us, what do you do? Question why a rich man like him has enough time to spoil a so-called pointless event that the so-called kids have put together. And finally, when he says the RD and the society need to be separated, how do you retaliate? Knowledge his point, yet reinforce the beauty in both RDs and Sides, and then unleash the secret weapon. Cece, you're ready. Today is a great day for the people of West Symphony and the world of harmony all over. Today marks a day that will forever change history. I'm calling on my brothers and sisters of the RD and Sides to take each other's hand in an effort to create unity across the land. For generations, the Ardi race has been hostile towards Sidi people. And for the same amount of time, Sidi people have frowned upon Ardis. It's time to put an end to that hate. As unprecedented as it may be, the fate of the world rests in the fate of its prejudices. We need to divert all this energy and effort into celebrating the beauty of our differences. In order to do so, we are launching our campaign officially today. Join the harmonizers as we spread a message of love all around the globe. Or don't join them. Which is the obvious choice. Boo! Don't let him get to your head. Ladies and gentlemen of West Symphony, I knew that I must attend to this putrid ideology these children were trying to expose the rest of you people to. The ignorance. Huh, that's funny. Rich guy like you has enough time to travel from Edwinopolis to ruin a campaign starred by children? It might not make sense to your artsy brain, but I have other people to attend to my matters in my absence. That's good! You should have brought those same people to the campaign, so you could be absent here as well. Ha! Huh, you got told! Oh, the insolence! I expected as much from arty folk like yourselves! Actually, I'm a sidey. Arties are pretty cool people. Ah! Stop this at once. You do not want this to escalate. I suggest you stop wasting all of these people's already low-functioning brains and put your semi-good talents to some other use. You know what, Wally? Do your worst. I see beauty in every single person who calls this world home. Our home. And as a matter of fact, I've spent my whole life loving everything and everyone, including Wallace. She's using the secret weapon. 
I know it may come as a surprise, but we have to become allies even with the ones who may seem against us. At the very least, I tried to meet Wallace halfway. I came here today to spread a bright and positive message and never once attacked a Sidey for being a Sidey or an Artie for being an Artie because there's no need to. But all Wallace has managed to bring to the table is nothing but hate and negativity without providing any real reason we should all be separated. This is why we must band together, because despite his efforts, Wallace isn't my enemy. It's the hate. And no, it's not the hate towards just Arties, because although I am an Artie, I'm not fighting for just my cause. My dear friends are Sides, and they have faced similar contention from my own kind. And that's, for lack of better words, not kind. So join us. Let's make real change. Whatever. You stupid kids can have your little Girl Scouts group. But just know, this won't be the last time you hear from me. You're playing with fire. Arties and Sighties were never meant to mix. I don't know. I'd say they're mixing pretty well right now. Thanks again, August. I couldn't have done any of this without you. Yes, you could have. You just needed a push. No, I mean, without you, I feel like I wouldn't even have thought something like this could have worked. You've always supported me, and you've always been there for me, and make me feel like I can do anything if you're by my side. I, uh, that makes me really happy to hear, Cece. You make me really happy. I'm sorry, I, uh, I... No, um, you're cool. I gotta head home for supper, but I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye, August. Get home safe. Boy, that was sure awkward, wasn't it? Let's roll.